AM 96.3 FM, The Source. Six minutes after 9 o'clock, 77 degrees. It's time for Veterans News. Joe Martone and Gary Pascal sitting in the captain's seats. Good morning, gentlemen. Thank you. Good morning, Larry. <laughs> good morning, veterans, and good morning, listeners. It's a great day uh, to be here. It's a beautiful day. And just to let you know, yes. <coughs> next week, uh, Hank will be here. So uh, well, I know, know you missed him. Yeah, it, it'll probably snow. It'll probably snow. <laughs> snow in June. Yes, yes. Unfortunately, Joe, we, we do have uh, I know. some deaths we have to announce. Uh, we have firefighters, police, and we do have one military. So, uh, you know, we'll get on with the things that make us sad, and then we've got a lot of happy stuff to talk about. That's it. Okay, we have firefighter Douglas C. Ambrosowitz from Perth Amboy Fire Department in Perth Amboy, New Jersey. His end of watch was on June 10th. Firefighter Richard Andy Lohler, Jr. of the Weatherford Fire Department in Weatherford, Texas. His end of watch was also June 10th. And Dakota, Firefighter Dakota Snavely of the Eastside Fire Department. I've never heard of this town, but it's in North Carolina. Albermale, North Carolina, and his end of watch was June 10th. And then we have two officers. We have uh, police officer Charles Irwin Jr. of the Milwaukee Police Department in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And we have Sergeant Charles Salloway of the New York State Police. Uh, his end of watch was June 9th. And we do have a Department of Defense casualty, uh, an Army casualty. Staff Sergeant Alexander W. Conrad, he was 26 years old, from Chandler, Arizona. He died June 8th in Somalia of injuries sustained from enemy indirect fire. Conrad was assigned to the 1st Battalion, 3rd Special Forces Group at Fort Bragg, North Carolina. Our thoughts and our prayers go out to the families of these firefighters these police officers and, and this soldier. Um, Larry? Amazing grace How sweet the sound That saved a wretch like me be here without the, the great people at WOCA and the fine people that sponsors us, Joe. You're right. And uh, we need more sponsors, so... Um, You're right again, you twice know, all, in one all morning. You, all you have to do is, you know, call this fine station and um, tell them you want to sponsor, and, and Joe Martone will give you all the information uh, you great need. great rates. And what, what's the phone number for that, Larry? 732-8000. Well, that's, uh, that's the office line. 732 I, I know the number. <laughs> he asked me. I know. <laughs> hey. 
Let, let them special. call us flood in because we want sponsors. And we want to thank Hires Baxley, okay? Mm-hmm. Hires Baxley has had generations of families honor them with their trust and confidence. And they believe it's because of the last 128 years, their team of caring professionals have established a reputation of serving family with excellence and compassion. Hires Baxley currently partners with Boy Scout Troop number 72 to properly dispose of decommissioned American flags. They're also a drop-off location for the program Cell Phones for Soldiers and helping to provide minutes that matter and helping heroes home. Hires Baxley is located at 910 East Silver Springs Boulevard in beautiful Ocala. If you have any questions, you can call them at area code 352-629-7171 or you can contact them on the World Wide Web simply by t- typing in hires, H-I-E-R-S dash Baxley, B-A-X-L-E-Y dot com. And Joe, you got our other wonderful sponsor? Oh, uh, yes, I do. Before I get to that, that Albemarle, North Carolina, I found out where it was. I Googled it. Where is it? It's outside of Charlotte, outside of Concord, Concord North Carolina. Oh. There you go. So that, that you, was yeah. just, no. You, you wanted to know, so I had to There's not too many you. places in North Carolina that I don't know. Well, that one you didn't know. Yeah, yeah. I didn't well, know there's that. a lot of small towns. It's a small little town. SWOC is proud to be a, a sponsor and a supporter of Veterans Helping Veterans and, of course, Veterans News. And like Gary said, if you're interested in supporting us, just give us a call, 732-8000, and I'll be more than happy to talk to you after I get off the air. And we also like to thank Bob Wines, because Veterans News is brought to you in part by Bob Wines, Community Garden and Nursery, located at 2610 Southeast 38th Street, as Gary would say, in lovely Ocala. When it comes to landscaping, Bob Wines has what you need. Everything from small plants to large trees, mulch, fertilize, and so much more. Bob Wines will even deliver, plant, and guarantee their trees. Bob Wines Community Gardening and Nursery has been keeping you blooming since 1952, almost as old as dirt. Contact them, 629-5766. That's area code 352-629-5766. And remember, if you are a veteran... They support you by giving you 10% off with proper identification. Must be proper. It must be proper. And we don't want to end proper. Remember, today is Flag Day. If you have a flag, fly it proudly. Don't forget that there. And we've got a lot of news. Why don't you do your quarterly memorial cemetery? Yeah, Mr. Jeffrey Askew is uh, putting on another quarterly memorial. Um, If you have never been to one of these, what the quarterly memorial is, is it honors all the veterans of Marion County that um, went on to be with the Lord that quarter. Mm. Um, The the ceremony is going to be on Saturday, July the 7th at 10 a.m., at the Ocala Marion County Veterans Memorial Park, which is located at 2601 Southeast Fort King Street in Ocala. It's a beautiful veterans park, and if you're a veteran, it's your park. It is nice the way they've done that. Oh, it, it's beautiful. It, it's beautiful. I'm, I'm taken back every time I go there. I like that little Statue of Liberty. Yeah, there's... Admit it, admit it. And, I, you know, I've seen another one somewhere in Florida. I've seen only two so far. So, but... Excuse me, I've got to, I've got to do a cough, a cough here. I got to. Well, he he didn't hit the button. Sorry, <clears throat> I was waiting for Larry to hit the button. I couldn't hold it anymore. All righty, tonight is Night's the a night. Big night. Tonight is a night. Don't eat lunch today, people. That's right. Francisco's Stone Fire Pizza and Pasta Fair Italian Restaurant is uh, going to have, and there one's in Bellevue and one's in Summerfield. So just go about, both on the same road, 441. So if you go to the one in Summerfield and it's full, just backtrack to the one in Bellevue or vice versa. I'll tell you what, we're going to take a break. Then I'll come back and tell you all the information about all this. All right. Veterans Helping Veterans USA. Call 352-433-2320. We help veterans and their families with limited financial assistance, counseling, employment referrals, and a food and clothing bank. You can help in making a huge difference in the veterans' lives we serve by donating food, clothing, household items, or direct financial assistance. All donations are tax deductible. Veterans Helping Veterans USA. 352-433-2320. Thank you for your attention and God bless America. 
started in 1975. It's Yendel's Building Materials. Whether you're making repairs, adding a room, or building a house, Yendel's constantly delivers excellent service and top quality materials and many of the tools and hardware you need to get the job done. At Yendel's, they take pride in supplying their customers with new and innovative products. Yendel's experience in trust design, manufacturing, and component materials is second to none. 834 North Magnolia Avenue in Ocala, 732-3000. Stop by to experience the difference. Hey, if you've forgotten that this Sunday is Father's Day, never fear because good old Bob Wines and his staff at Bob Wines Camellia Gardens still has some great ideas for giving to dear old dad. How about planting a tree for dad right now or in his memory? Right now, during Bob Wines Red Tag Sale on Trees, you get 20% off Bob's already super low prices. Hundreds to choose from, even some of those hard-to-find specimen trees. Maybe a crepe myrtle or two. Bob has more crepe myrtles than you can imagine. Prices starting as low as $3.99 or go up to $329 for those large blooming exotics. And you buy one, get one free, delivered, planted, and guaranteed. Go inside their old-timey greenhouse for lots of unusual and unique items that your dad would love. Bob Wines Camellia Gardens open daily till 4.30, Saturday till 3 on Southeast 38th Street. The same blooming place since 1952. Happy Father's Day. Hey, sweetheart, you look upset. I just don't know how we're going to handle everything coming up these next few weeks. Graduation, Father's Day, Natalie's wedding. Tell you what, make a list of all the events and what you want to serve. Then, just call Honey Baked Ham at 861-0011. They'll prepare everything to perfection, and they'll even deliver. Where are they? I may just go by. 2709 Southwest 27th Avenue, just behind Best Buy. I'm going to use Honey Baked Ham for everything. Honey Baked Ham, making every day a special occasion. This is Jennifer McCullough, the Executive Director of Palm Garden. And I'm Sharon Baker, the Director of Clinical Services. Last month, I told our listeners all about National Nurses Week, and now we want to talk about National Nursing Assistance Week. It's the second week in June, and we want to honor all our excellent CNAs who give hands-on care to our precious residents every day. In fact, each department will be doing something special for our CNAs the entire week. It's going to be fun. A big thank you to our CNAs from Palm Garden of Ocala. It's boom, 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 We're back. We're back. <laughs> We're talking about eating. Talking about tying eating. You got to tie and eat all here. You want to fill it up from 4 until 10 p.m. tonight. You go there to Pasta Fair for Francisco's, and 15% goes back to... That's helping vets. So eat a lot. It, you know, 15% of all the food. So eat a lot. Make sure you get an appetizer. Make sure you get dessert. And that excludes tax and tip, though. Excludes tax and tip. Now, you got to have, though, the little catches here. Look, you look, got it, to look have, into the camera. you got see, to have the see flyer. See the flyer? There yeah. you go. See the flyer. There it is. Yeah. All right. You see the flyer. Now, if you That's need the a, one you got to look at. If you need a flyer, uh, Joe will be glad to I'll print you off here at the station. Yeah, yeah. Or you can come down to Vets Help and Vets and we'll print you one off. Now you can either take the flyer or you can just take a picture of it on your cam with phone. your camera phone you and show it to the waitress. But now um we show what to the waitress. Show the, the, the oh. picture. Yes, yeah, show the picture. Okay. All right. <laughs> but um you know we have to be courteous and we cannot be passing flyers around in the restaurant or the parking lot. We but won't do that. Sure I don't you, have we sure, will not do that. Oh, make oh, sure oh. you bring your own <laughs> and eat plenty of food, please. Yes. Four to ten at six hours of straight eating. That's uh, <laughs> that, that's plenty of time. And I'll be I'll be there about three thirty ish, four o'clock. Yeah, so, so I'll know. be there the whole time. And in between, somewhere in between, I'll sit down and eat, and the rest I'll do a meet and greet. No. Hey, that rhymes. That's right. No, I hadn't been there yet, Joe. But you're you're telling me that's good food down I've there. I've been right? there. Yeah. I've been there more more times than I can count. Which one? Pasta fair. Pasta fair. Yeah. Well, seeing as uh, Right by the house, so I'm not going to drive all the way down to the other one. But and we'll absolve anybody that's on a diet, you know, for this day. That's what this I'm is doing. flag day. That's so, you know, get down there and eat. That's a new one on me. Flag yeah. day, you flag. can eat anything you want? That's right. Says Gary. That, that's right, says Gary. <laughs> Sheesh. Okay. That's the way it is. Now, are you planning ahead? You better be planning ahead. Because we got this event coming up, and it's December. I know you said December. What the heck are you talking about? What's the fifth annual? It's going to be a sock hop. It's for veterans, help of veterans. It's a big deal, and it's going to be Friday, December seventh. But we're selling tickets now. Yes, we are. So it needs it, and you know, 
And, they said, and sponsorships, too. And sponsorships, too. It says, I'm going to read right off. We may have put this together, this event together, but it cannot be possible without your support and your contribution. The success of this remarkable charity event depends on the support from our community, including businesses, volunteers, and, of course, you. And we want you to make your time, efforts, and resources worth it. So, in addition to knowing that you're supporting a worthy cause, charity event sponsors will also receive various benefits, such as gaining positive recognition throughout the community, the radio stations of WOCA 96.3 FM at 1370 AM, and, of course, social media outlets. So this is a wonderful opportunity to establish a network with different businesses and top producers in the area. You'll also be able to meet several public officials and staff from Veterans Helping Veterans <coughs> USA <laughs> and hear firsthand about the organization and all the hard work they do for our veterans. And we would like to receive the donations by November 10th. So we've got plenty of time. Now, let's uh, grab onto your headphones here, Gary, so we have a phone call. Good morning. Morning. Good morning, guys. Mike McCoy. Hey, Mike McCoy. What's happening? Hey, Joe. Hey, what's uh, what do we need to do to become a sponsor? We give a call at four three three two three two zero. You write the. I'll, I'll say it slower again. You get something to write with. I hope as usual. You're prepared. Four three three two three two zero. Or two eight six nine four nine one. Uh, don't conv- don't confuse me, Joe. Um, well, I'm talking okay. slow. I'm I know <laughs> I know it's daytime and you went to night school, but I'll talk slow for you. <laughs> I mean, it's two uh, two eight six nine four nine one. That's the other number. You have two numbers to call, either one, and they'll give you all That's the a, information. It's a great cause. I definitely want to. I want to do something. Well, um, we appreciate that. Yes, very much so. How much are the sock hop tickets? Uh, Gary, so I, I, I think, think it's they're $60. $60 we, better, we better check. Oh, but he says, I've got to oh, see that. Know. I think it's $60, but, but all right. Tickets are $60 per person if ordered before December 1st and $70 at the door with no refunds. So if you what buy, a deal. It is. It is. It Good is. deal. We're going to have fun. And you dress up uh-uh, like the 50s. Not that we lived through any of that, you know. I'm just, you know, you look at, you'll have to Google and see how they dressed back then. Yeah, I just looked at me. <laughs> but just, just break out, just break out your old copy of Grease, you know, watch it, and um, you know, dress like one of them. Yeah, and if you and know John Travolta, move. give him a call. He might yeah. show up. Who yeah, knows? John Travolta lives right, right here. Yeah, you know, I maybe, know. Maybe, maybe we can get him to come. Yeah, wouldn't that be a kick in the? Mm. Yeah. You know, I've tried that. I've tried doing that, and I just can't get that uh, Olivia Newton-John look. Thank goodness. Uh, I just... Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> and you know what? I haven't eaten breakfast uh, yet. Mike, neither. thanks for the call. We'll talk to you later. <laughs> Take care, Mike. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> yeah, that's, we're going to have a good time. We're also going to have uh, a 1957, a vintage 1957. Well, not old car. I thought you were talking yes. about a guy. Okay, never mind. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Vintage. So, you know. So you um, take pictures. That's a photo op. take pictures, you know. Uh, you know, you can know, wear the leather jacket, you know. I don't know uh, what I'm going to wear yet. A T-shirt with a pack of cigarettes. No, no. no a t-shirt. pack of cigarette pack with no cigarettes. No, no. No, no, no more. Cell phone. Cell phone, right? <laughs> that might work. That might but, work. you know, come, we're going to have a good time. The music, you know, is going to be good. Uh, I don't think there's ever been better music than the 50s. No, I that's true. I don't know who's uh, oh, no. who's doing it, who's coming in uh, this time. Maybe but somebody good. We can not maybe, it. not maybe. We'll have somebody, somebody good. good yeah. Gee! Always, always. I'm going to have to teach you marketing, you know? This, this, is, this is the fifth time we're doing this, you know? That's so we're bound to get it right. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> We're bound to but get I it right. I can't in. believe how fast the time has I gone. I know. I remember the first one, yeah. We've been doing this. And we also got another really big event coming up, Joe, that we got to talk about. Okay. Um, Which this, one is that? This, uh, this is the first responders breakfast. Oh, that's October, It's going right? to be Friday, October 26th. The doors are going to open at 7.30 a.m. Uh-huh. The event begins promptly at 8. Now, this we're partnering, again, with the good folks at Hires Baxley, okay? They are good people. They are very uh, good I, people. You know, I'm not going to uh, ring their chime too much, but uh, they are stern, star, stern perform, uh, they, they, dog, gun it. Supporter, that's the yeah, word. They right? are good supporters. Of uh, this, veterans helping veterans. This is going to be at the Holiday Inn, 3600 Southwest 38th Avenue. Holiday Inn. Okay. Holiday Inn. Where's that? Where's that? Which one is that? The Holiday Inn. 
Is that the conference? Right? Right. Yeah, right. Yeah. Is that the same yeah. one that the dance is going to be at? Same one. So yeah. That's wow. one behind everything over there, off of two hundred. Oh, that's good. And the prayed, p- plated <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, have a plate too, huh? That means no. That means the bread. That means the food's going to be on a plate. You know, we don't have to eat it with our hands. Oh, finally, finally, get you know, upgraded. Um, All right. Yeah. We got a few few things here. There's opportunities. Okay, if you want to be a oh, platinum sponsor, okay, mm-hmm. it's um, three thousand okay. dollars. Now this is four tables at the event where you have four reserved seats. Okay, the other seats will be given to the hometown heroes, the firefighters. Okay, your logo will be displayed on the big screen above, mm-hmm. in the program, and a banner and a recognition plaque. Outstanding. Okay, then we have the gold for two thousand. You get two tables. Four reserve seats. The other seats, of course, will be firefighters. Logo displayed on the screen in the program and a banner and a recognition plate. And then you have the silver. Okay. Oh, one the table, Lone Ranger one. All right. <laughs> one table, four reserve seats. Okay, uh-huh. for you know, for your people. The other seats again for our hometown heroes. Logo displayed on the screen in the program and the banner and a recognition plaque. Single table sponsorship. If you just want to sponsor a table, your name will be displayed on the on, on the program, and that would be at uh, three hundred fifty dollars. Okay. So let's say all the way at the bottom. All the way at the bottom. Donations of thirty five dollars will reserve individual seats. So you can come individually if you want to. Also. Okay. Now, if you yes, you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to. Um, more information or you want to secure your sponsorship, mm-hmm. you need to contact Steve Tweedle of, of Hires Baxley at 352-629-7171 or Miss Jinky Diaz at 352-286-9491. And that's and when, going to be when, a great open event. that again, when is it going to be? Okay, again, it's going to be on October 26th. Uh, location Holiday Inn at 3600 Southwest 38th Avenue in beautiful Ocala. And this Doors is a breakfast. open breakfast, a good breakfast. Yeah. Doors open at 7:30, and it's going to begin promptly at 8 o'clock. Fair. So be there or be square. Yeah, and br- and bring your appetite. They put a they put a good spread on. We're going to thank thank the many people that that service that gives us great service. And this is a different kind of service, but you know. Great service every day, and I, I happen to know in this state and other states uh, the fine men and women that put on that uniform, that put their their neck on the line, that help help us. That when uh, something happens, they're there to try to protect limb and property and, and everything else in between. So, yes, uh, remember you know, today is Flag Day, Gary. This is Flag Day. So if you have a flag, dag dog on it. Fly it proudly Fly it because proud. we're in the greatest nation in the world. If you don't believe us, go visit someplace else. And then then you'll really find out what America is all about. Those that are not veterans that haven't been overseas and don't know what it's like, then, then, then come talk to me after you've been over there. Gary, we have about 30 seconds to go, so I'm going to turn it over to you, and then you can talk your way out of this. Well, I, I sure will, and you know it's been a pleasure to be here uh, f- for Hank Whittier. I just want to tell everybody, God bless America, and have a beautiful day. Broadcasting from the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 963 FM, The Source. Fox News Radio, I'm Chris Foster. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo's in China to 